So uh, you have to ask yourself some questions to be able to see through this thing. You can actually unfold the, the biblical truths by what's right in front of you. Just through the etymology, through the words, through the object lessons, through everything. So when you look at a tree, the seed falls off the, the leaf, goes in the ground, it dies, and it brings new life. You see the night and the day. Everything goes dark at night, and then the next day is new life. Night and day. Death, resurrection, death, resurrection, death, resurrection. You see that continually in reality. Death, resurrection, it's, in, it's encoded in the, the seeds off the plants, the night and the day. It's encoded in everything. You sacrifice your time on the job. You redeem your time with a paycheck. Sacrifice, redemption. When the Apostle Paul said this, if a man don't work, he don't eat. That's what he's talking about. Sacrifice, redemption. Sacrifice, redemption. Sweat. You work real hard, you sweat. You plant that farm and you reap, reap what you sow. That's another one. You reap what you sow. Here's another one. You can, I mean, you can just look at your reality and see what's going on. Cycles. You can actually decode. In a half mile, take right exit 214 Amperes toward Wendover Avenue West using the right lane. You can actually decode Eve by just the cycle. So every day and every, every year and every month, and there's always cycles. Daily. Weekly, monthly, yearly. There's cycles. What's the purpose of a cycle? Well, your washing machine has a cycle. It washes and cleanses clothes. The woman has a cycle to birth. Take right exit 214 Amperes toward Wendover Avenue West. So if a cycle will cleanse the waves of the ocean, you get in there and it heals your wound. The cycles of time will heal you. If somebody has PTSD, they get a, get away from it, and then the, the cycles of time will heal them. Not only does this, the cycles birth, but it heals, it cleanses. I'm trying to think of something else. I mean, why else do you think they call it Tide? Tide uh, clothes detergent. Tide. Why? Because the Tide, <laughs> the Tide of the ocean is like a. Like a washing machine, you know. In a quarter mile, turn right on Landview Drive. I got this holiday traffic, and so it's kind of crazy. The tides of the ocean, the tides of time, the cycles of time, the the sanctification process. People say it dawned on me. The the moon. 28 day cycle. Moon, mints, blood, birthing. It's encoded in all the words. It's encoded in all the objects. The object lessons. A tree is upright. A tree is faithful. So in order to be uh, upright, you need faith. Full of faith. Tree, true, faithful, faithful. Just ahead, turn right. It's encoded everywhere. I don't know why somebody's taking an Uber from Sam's Club. Using turn right, people. then turn left. Take their car up there and upload, unload a thousand items just bought, buying bulk, you know. Hopefully it's a worker and not a somebody trying to load my car up and a bunch of junk. But anyway, you can take the Turn universe. Left. 
the cycles, the stars, the uh, everything, and actually unfold biblical truth. Really, you can unfold biblical truth. Pick up Audrey. So yeah, sure enough, she had a load full of stuff, and there was three of them. Three in the back seat, and every every everything was full. All seats were full. The trunk was full. Everything was full. Typical, right? Typical. Turn left on Brian Jordan Place. And while we were driving, I had some speed demons. People just were, ahead, turn right on Justborn Drive. People are out in the middle of the the drive, blocking traffic, selfish. Turn right on Justborn Drive, then turn left on West Wendover Avenue. And I told him, I said, look, everybody's selfish, right? Everybody's selfish. It's all about me. And they want everybody in a 15 minutes. Turn seat. left on West Wendover Avenue. A bunch of selfish people in a 15 minute city. If they really wanted a 15-minute city, why are they building so many things out way out in the counties? Where I'm at, they're building the way up, way out. They're building like crazy. So there's a city, and then 20 minutes out, they're building all around the perimeter of the city. They're building like crazy. How's, how's that going to be? A, it's not going to be a 15-minute city. They're just trying to upset people. I promise you, this whole game is to to make people selfish and make people mad and make people worried and make people become evil like the the dictators are running everything. It's to, it's to push you to that level. It's designed for that. To push you to the... To the bitterness and unforgiveness. and It's all an attack on your heart. Everything's an attack on your heart. And all these people... All they're worried about is stuff. Get to your pickup at 3044 Seasons Town Center. They're all, they're all, every time I pick some people up tonight, every time, they're always talking about stuff. I gotta get this, I gotta get this. It's all about stuff. Their mind is not in another world. In other words, it's theoretical or it's just about stuff. If all you think about all day long is a toothbrush or some food or some... If all you're thinking about is stuff, something wrong with you. You're like a low-level zombie. If your mind is not up in another level... One girl I picked up, she said she said something about she wanted to invest. She didn't know how. And I said, all you have to do is download this app here and start adding money and, and you get some dividends, free money. She said, how do you do that? How is that free? Well, you invest your money, you buy a part of a business, you know, and you get dividends. I said, download this app. She said, how did you learn? I said, I taught myself. Go online, watch some videos. She 
she's gonna make it out. Anybody, she's she's over there in the hood. Who was? Where'd I drop her off at? at Wendy's or somewhere, some some uh, fast food joint. But she was interested. She wants she wants to get out of that rat race, which it's hard. I, I've never got out of it, even though I know all this stuff. I never was able to get out of it, but. But at least at her age, she can get out of it because she's asking the right questions. See, so she says, "Well, why didn't our parents or why didn't the school teach us?" I said, "They don't. They don't care. They didn't know. Some of them, your parents didn't know because technology didn't wasn't around then. Only certain people could invest. You had to have like five thousand to invest or something." She said, well, can I, how much do I have to invest? I said, you can invest a dollar a day if you want to. So Robin Hood really forced the industry to change. And so now people have an opportunity to get out of this rat race insanity. She'll get out. She said, well, how do I learn? I said, you go online, you watch the videos and teach yourself. And it's better to teach yourself than trust somebody else anyway. Because if you listen, just do what somebody else says, it could take you down. They could be lying to you, you know. A lot of people, they say, buy these classes and all this. Why? I'll tell you how to do it. You invest in the stocks that have a profit, stable, a lot of employees, a wide moat. You buy companies that have a wide moat and you look at their ability to manage something. Are they able to manage their stuff, you know? It's all about managing your stuff. Can they manage their debt? If they have a whole lot more debt than they do cash, that's a red flag. what started the conversation I said we pulled up I said do you have you ever thought about this is the, I didn't even know her I didn't know her from in a quarter mile make a slight right turn on I-40 east using the right lane I didn't know her from anybody I didn't know her I had no idea who she but it just came to my mind I thought I was looking at all the houses and all the shingles and all the the grass and the the siding and the windows and I was looking at that whole setup there thinking there's got to be a better way I said have you ever just thought about looked at everything in front of you thought there's got to be a better way I said make a slight right turn on I-40 east the shingles last 15 20 years and I said why don't we just make them out of plastic that last 100 years you know and uh I was mentioned some other stuff, the siding and the windows and the shingle, uh, the uh, gutters and all that. I said, see, all these houses need work. I said, it's all, I said, it's got to be a better way. I said, just like, I said, why don't they put trees on the side of the highway, fruit trees, apple trees and fruits and stuff on the side of the People just reach down and grab and it's free food. She said, well, they don't want anybody to get it for free. I said, everything's free, to be honest with you. You're breathing water, actually, right now. Everything's free. They just merchandised it all. And then that's how we got into the conversation. She said, I want to... Said she wanted to live free or something. In two miles, take right exit 217 toward Gate City Boulevard.
Oh, I know what was said. I said, um, I said, you can act, everything's free. You could actually, if you had a business plan, you say you're going to build this restaurant right here, get a million dollars or whatever it takes to build it, probably 10 million. Put a million, take, go get a loan for 10 million with a proper business plan, put a million in your bank and let your employees and let the business pay the loan off. Incorporate it and it's not on you. And that's when the conversation says, Well, I want to learn how to invest and, and do this. She said something to the effect, why didn't why didn't my mom teach me or why didn't my parents teach me or why didn't the school I said they didn't know. And they don't want you to know. You have to learn it on your own. In a half mile take right exit two seventeen toward Gate City Boulevard using the right lane. Take right exit 217 toward Gate City Boulevard. They got everybody on the hamster wheel, and most people can't see it wouldn't admit it even if they did see it they wouldn't admit they're in the hamster wheel you know it's actually a trip to be honest with you most of the problems that everybody deals with is they want to believe a lie and then nobody's going to call them out on their lie and they're not going to call themselves out on their lie. In a quarter mile, turn left on Sewell Road. And so they stay in delusions and when somebody does call them out on it, they'd rather stay in delusions than admit the lie that they ate and drank and believed and they want to they wanna believe the lie and stay in the delusion because lies don't keep you in delusion. Right. Turn left, then turn right on Four Seasons Town Center. If somebody's eating a bunch of sugar and bread and just getting diabetes and they want to believe that it's okay, and they want to believe the lie that it's okay. Turn left to stay on Four Seasons Town Center. They eat donuts every day and they believe the lie that they're okay and then when it when the bottom crashes up on them, they say, how did that happen? And the good thing about the human body, you can re, it can regenerate itself if you catch it in time. These, Just ahead, make a sharp left turn. Why don't these people text you what door they're at? Uh, at a mall. <laughs> Why don't they text you? I'm at the north door, side door, east Make door. a sharp left turn, then pick up Jasmine. Why wouldn't they text you? And why would security block the main entrance? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Pick up Jasmine. 